Section 1.4, Complex Numbers. I wanted to wait to address complex numbers until we talked about quadratic functions, and you'll see why as we go through these videos. So first of all, I want you to sketch the graph for f of x equals x squared plus 4 using the quadratic equation. So the quadratic equation gives us roots by finding the line of symmetry and the distance of the roots from that line of symmetry. Well here we have a equals 1, there's no middle term so b is 0, and c is 4. Thus we have x equals 0 over 2 times 1 plus or minus 0 squared is just 0, so we get minus 4 times 1 times 4, so negative 16, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Well, we've seen in the earlier lesson that that negative 16 is a problem, because we can't take the even root of a negative number. So when we're sketching this, We can still use the line of symmetry, which is just our y-axis in this case. And then we can find what f of 1 is, or f of 0, sorry. And we find that f of 0 is 4, so our vertex is at 0, 4. And we've seen by graphing these types of functions in class that the fact that there are no, or the fact that we can't find a real number for this means there's no real solution for the roots, so our parabola is going to go upward. We could also plug in some other values, maybe f of 1, which is 5. And since a parabola is symmetric, we also get the point negative 1, 5. Okay. Hold on to this graph, hold on to this problem. We're going to come back to it at the very end. But we did notice that we had a problem with finding the roots. In particular, our problem was negative six, the root of negative 16 over 2. Well, what we can do, we let i equal the square root of negative 1. Then what we see is that a number like the square root of negative 16 equals the square root of 16 times negative 1 which is the square root of 16 times the square root of negative 1. It can also be written as the square root of 16 times i. And since the square root of 16 is 4, we see that the square root of negative 16 is equal to 4i. Another example could be the square root of negative 49, which in this case would be 7i. The square root of negative 9 is 3i. The square root of negative 64 is 8i. Okay. It's important to notice, though, that since i equals the square root of negative 1, then i squared equals the square root of negative 1 squared, and so it just equals 1. I'm sorry, negative 1. So we have i equals the square root of negative 1, i squared equals negative 1, i cubed would be i squared times i, and i to the fourth is negative 1 times negative 1 positive 1.